everybody. Thanks for joining us at PBR.com as well as CarbonTV.com alongside nine-time world champion Ty Murray. I'm Craig Hummer. We are wrapping up our time in Madison Square Garden. Ty, it became a weekend to remember for one of the most consistent riders the Built Ford Tough Series has ever seen, the Laramie Marchi wins. Yeah, and, you know, this is a guy that's been around so long. You talk about a veteran. This is a guy with more career rides uh, than anybody's ever had. And to still be doing it and, you know, winning it, if you look at all the events of the year and the and and the ones that the guys want to win the most, this one's definitely in the top two. The guys from Mooresville, North Carolina, J.B. Mooney and Shane Proctor had some highlights of their own. Yeah, um, very good. Uh, I think I think Shane could have just used a little bit more bull power, and and J.B. Uh, needed to not let one slip away. Uh, and then you look at the the consistency of Silvano Alves. Um, you know that's just. That's killing them, but at the same time, I feel like Silvano uh, gave up a first place in, in order to have a third place. Well, let, let's delve into that a little bit more. If now you didn't see our telecast, Silvano Alves on the final day here declined not just one, but Listen two re-rides, round three and in the championship round, to, to your point, took away any possibility of him because winning. The ride streak is still alive, he's two he's dozen in a row. But it does come at a price. He lost some premium points. You know, that's impressive. And it, it's so weird because we have a guy that, that's three-time world champion. We have a guy that's smashing records. He's rode more bulls consecutively than anybody has. And the whole time we're saying, why is he doing this? Why is he doing that? Well, he's got $3 million in the bank and bonuses, you know. And, and so there's part of you that goes, maybe we ought to shut up and let him do what he does. <laughs> and, you know, you can't argue that. But he turned down re-rides on bulls that I know for a fact he can ride, like like layups, and and he was in the position to easily win the event. And he, you know, it's it's just that same case again where they say, uh, "Do you want the mulligan?" And he's like, "No, nah, I'll just stay over here in the weeds." And he's just kind of giving it away. Um, instead of getting 400 and some odd points, he got like 220. Before we get to our next point, here's my advice for you. We're in television. Never be willing to shut up, okay? <laughs> We'd lose our jobs if we did. But let's talk about moving to Oklahoma City. We get a great weekend here, one of our marquee events, just because of the location. Yeah. Next weekend in Oklahoma City, one of the marquee events because of the bull power. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be way different than it was here in New York. You know, we saw a lot of re-rides. We saw a lot of mediocre bulls mm -hmm. and 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 you know, bulls that are in the low 80s range, you're not going to see that in Oklahoma City. It's going to be the worst bull there is going to be rank. And you're going to see Long John. You're going to see Mickey Mouse, Asteroid, uh, all the ones that are that are the buckers. And, you know, I think we're, we're kind of in an era now that Bushwhackers retired that everybody's looking to see who that new great standout bull is going to be. And I think Long John has a great chance of doing that. I don't think he's a very mean bull, but he's a big bull and he has big movements. And they're strong, and and they're and they're very dangerous. He's going to wipe some guys out. That's just the nature of the way he bucks. And and as with all dragons, there's going to be somebody that's wanting to slay him. Well, it is. You would attest. A lot of our fans watch purely for the bull power, and that will definitely be on offer next weekend. New York in the books. We hope you join us next weekend for Oklahoma City.